Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Drumfest 2019. We are here for Drumfest. This is the premier section for drummers. It's equivalent to the national finals, just for drummers. We wanted to improve the standard as well as get more persons involved in drumming and to see you know, the part it plays in our culture. So we had that drum fest separated and once it started, there was no turning back because it, it, it caters to a different audience than national finals for instrumentalists and vocalists. Each year it's getting larger and larger. We, we have a total of 42 competitors. Um, well, 42 competitors in terms of schools, but of course for the ensemble presentations you have, you know, you can have up to 14 um, persons in a group. talking about um, mostly our young people. We're talking about primary schools, prep schools, high schools, community groups all over Jamaica. We even have semi-professionals who enter the competition. We have some teachers, teachers of drums who also group up and enter. We have congas, we have djembes, we also have even the trap sets. We have all types of drums, African drums, Jamaican drums, and we have the auxiliary instruments that we use as well, you know, maracas, we have cowbells. Check our history. Um, from as far back as you can think, you know our African heritage and drumming. You say drum, you equate that to Africa. So we find that our students naturally, Jamaican students naturally, gravitate towards drumming. They play syncopated rhythms just casually. They don't even realize how technical it is and they don't understand really that what they are doing is not as easy as they think. We basically come here to us. Uh, motivate the kids and let them know that good drummers are here that they can learn from and they can actually have a career from this. Most people might not know or most people might think that you can't have a career from our kind of music which is and drumming but that is not so because um, if you take a look at for instance um, Cranix and Kabaka Pyramid they have two percussionists on their band. For me it's just a way to express how I feel. You know when you come home from or when you leave school in the afternoon, a good drum rehearsal, you feel good about yourself, release out of stress and just a way to express yourself creatively and stuff. We've been to a lot of embassies with RD drummers. I really like it because I get to go places I meet a lot of people that are very important. Um, different experiences, you go all over Jamaica. It's just fun. I, it's a whole lot, it's a brotherhood because I'm not the only girl. Well, not really the only girl, but there are not a really lot of girls. I play djembe, but if we're doing Jamaica rhythms, we play Jamaican drums like congas and stuff. I also teach it in Ensom City Primary School and the whole school want to join. Everyone put their hands in the air. Sir, sir, me, me, sir, me can't play no. Look here, look here, me can't play no. I'm like, that's great, you know, motivating and encouraging for us. I like music and, and I want to do it in my career. I like that the, the sounds are the rhythm then and the type of songs I play with the rhythm. It's nice to play, it encourages me and everybody else and feel the vibes and everything. We would really want to make it bigger and better. 
we would want to have better prizes to give to the performers. They have worked really, really hard. And yes, we know they will be getting, you know, trophies at the end, but we have others who are also excellent that we would want to give incentives and so on. So I, I see the competition going there.